Second round of the Memorial Tournament is underway, and sports director Clay Hall and football analyst Matt Finkus is there. They are both there. They are monitoring all the action from the golf course. Guys? Terry, thank you very much. A lot of twists and turns. It's been a blast out here through, uh, what, 27 holes of the Memorial Tournament, joined by 95.5 The Game host and the football fever analyst Matt Finkus. Rory McElroy yeah. collapses on his first nine. <laughs> Double bogey, 13, 14, 15, mm -hmm. bogey's 18. What do you attribute this to? Uh, well, we think that maybe he changed his cell phone number, but then Caroline Wozniacki got it and called okay. him last night. But, no, I mean, you know, with these guys out there, I mean, he, he's coming in such a hot streak. Won the European Tour last week, came in, shoots a 63 yesterday, uh, just – had some trouble. I mean, when you look at the shot chart, too, it's all around the green. You know, he wasn't missing fairways. He was in the bunkers. He was, you know, yeah. twice in the bunker on 16 and then chipped in for a par. So it, it was all around the green for him. But it seems like he's got it right. He had a birdie on two, two par fives on the, on the front nine that are very birdieable as well. So, see, if he gets back to four over for the day, he's five under for the tournament. He's still right in it. The kid's a golf analyst now. <laughs> There's a social component to this actual a little affair. Bit. Yeah, and a you little usually bit. take in those uh, those gatherings. Yeah, I mean, everyone, and this is the big social day for, for the memorial. I mean, you go down to 14 on Friday afternoon, and that's kind of where everyone is, yeah. and then and, and the house is there. And, and I'm older now, so I normally just kind of go to some yeah. friends' houses and, and hang out as far as uh, hanging down with the masses down on 14. But it's always great. I mean, a beautiful day out here today. If you, if you can, come on out. It's a fun time. Listening this morning on 95-5 the game and you're talking about Alabama needing a home and home series yeah and you sort of threw down hey maybe the Big Ten or another conference will say yeah we'll pick this dude up well I think there's there's two ways to look at this and yeah. and right now Alabama they had the home and home with Michigan State that they pulled out of offered the two neutral site games in, in Atlanta and in Dallas which right. really aren't neutral site games um, so now they're saying that they're willing they're still looking to fill a spot in 2015 they don't have anyone to do it and they're said they're willing to do a home and home. I, I think the Big Ten, if you got a Wisconsin, if you got a Michigan State, or, or you know even an Ohio State, step up and, and go down there and take the challenge. Make Alabama come up north and play a little football. I think there might be a little bit of gamesmanship though on the other conferences because they, the SEC stayed with their eight-game conference schedule, and all the other conferences went to nine. Maybe this is the other conferences saying, "Hey, you know, you kind of made your bed. You're going to have to lie yeah. in it. You might have to play two FCS schools in one season." And with the current system, with the with the bowl selection committee, that's not going to bode well for them. But we can dream. Yeah. Yes. I yeah. Mean, absolutely. Alabama, Ohio State would be like Notre Dame, Ohio State well, back in the mid '90s you know, that you played. It. I think that's one of the good things that can come out of this bowl yeah. selection committee is that you might get some of these big games coming up uh, in the early part of the season where it won't hurt you as much. Where in years past, if you lose a game, you're done. You're out of the national championship picture. I think now it's going to be more of a cumulative effect and, and look so you can get some of these big games early on in the season. It won't hurt you if you lose them. Matt, thanks for the time. we got to run as we go out. Interesting turn of events here at 18 is Camilla Vajegas came here with the lead. He chipped over the green, over the cart path, chipped back, hit the stick, and then he made this 35-foot putt for bogey that you're looking at right here. Vajegas, the Colombian uh, great player, crafty player, but again, he chipped way over, had to come back, hit the stick, rolled past, and then he cans this putt from about 30 to 35 feet for bogey. He falls out of the lead. But uh, another twist and turn here in round two of the Memorial. Live at Muirfield Village, I'm Clay Hall, ABC 6 News.